It's life driving. That's right. So it made me think mine should be any different. For I'm people like me also. who don't know who Booby Black is, who is that? Booby Black is a OG from Uptown, Magnolia Projects. And he also was shot up and had, you know, arm amputated. Oh, wow. Yeah. So wow. that's coming from somebody who's already been there, no? Somebody who's been there, been through it already. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, I'm alive to be a testimony to help people. That's hard. Not for me. Not for me to do my thing to be doing podcasts and nah. That, that ain't what it's about. That's just, you know, a part, part of the journey. It. That's right. To, yeah, but that ain't what it's about. When you think. Well, what I like, sorry, but hold on. But you know what I like about the fact that you said it's a testimony is the fact that it wasn't you weren't the one in the streets or doing anything bad or anything like that. This could have happened to anybody. anybody. Yeah. And that's what people don't understand. People but think that I'm not out. Stuff bad. That's oh, why you I was able to accept it. Oh, it was, okay. It was just my turn. Mm. So you had already experienced, did, you had things my that mind was programmed for this. So I mm. got shot and didn't panic. I drove to the hospital. Damn, the hospital right there. Yeah, yeah. In wow. the streets for so, a long so let, time. I, I, really? I, I, I want to talk about... So you could talk, you could help a lot of people because of that. I want to talk about, like, the people that did do the shooting, did they ever catch them? You don't even know. Never even tried to find out. Never tried to find out. Because he didn't see who they were or nothing like that? I, I, Correct. I, but I, it could have been I, somebody I, around. But, you know, you never know. People talk, investigators. Nah. It never even came back to me through the streets who shot me. Wow. Never even can because they usually that that that's a cold lick there because the streets is where it, but the streets come tell me about who shot everybody else. That's what's crazy. I understand it wasn't for me. Why suffer consequences if I don't have to? I totally understand. Mm. If I don't have look, that wasn't for you. But you was in the car with the girl who was testifying. You feel me? Like if you in the streets, you know. You know. We so can. what I did, I took my lick. Okay, that's that's where it goes. I can't be a gangster when it's beneficial. Yeah. But when it's bad, then I'm... Nah, it is what it is, man. What was the advice that Booby Black gave you? Yeah, man. Still do anything you want to do. Wow. And he he shows me, you know, through his way, his living. Like, he been experienced, you know, the situation in... It's life driving. That's right. So it made me think mine should be any different. For I'm people like me also. who don't know who Booby Black is, who is that? Booby Black is a OG from Uptown, Magnolia Projects. And he also was shot up and had, you know, arm amputated. Oh, wow. Yeah. So wow. that's coming from somebody who's already been there, no? Somebody who's been there, been through it already. Mm. Was it important? What? what what, how did he even link it? He, you knew him already or he just found you? Well, we have mutual people that we know. Uh, back again to my same partner, Hog, who I was telling yeah. you. Yeah. Free Hog, who hooked me up with Soldier Slim. He also hooked me up with Booby Black because he's Magnolia. So he had connections to these people and he also was, his family is from the Florida Project also. So he's, you know, we have connections to both. He was able to. Did he come to the hospital or did you see him in the streets? Nah, it was in the streets. In the streets. He was at a uh, Carver football game. And he just walked up to you and told you? Nah, we know each other. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, what's up, nigga? He talked on the phone. We, you know, see each other at certain events. And, but, you know, it was before my situation. So then when that's the situation, nothing changed. It's the same thing. But you're like, look, it's all good, you know? Yeah. Just, just Still hey, do your thing, man. Still, still do your, do your thing, thing, man. Don't, don't, it don't, that don't stop nothing. Don't stop nothing, man. You ain't stop nothing yet. Wow. What about, like, like when you think about the kids and every, your kids? How old are your kids? When I only have one kid. How old is I have a 17-year-old son. Wow. And he about to be Mr. Junior Tomorrow he play for Madison. Come on now. Number nine. Number nine. Yeah, That's why you have the nine around your neck. 
No, nine nine war. No, nine war. Nine war. Everything is nine. Birthday nine is the last number, man. That's there's no other number bigger than nine. So when you shoot die, you shoot nine. Come up, it's a it's a problem. I'm betting whatever. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I always bet on nine, baby. I always bet on nine. Win or lose, I'm betting again. Wow. Um, BG comes home. Yeah. Uh, he home now. Um, music and everything. He's he's getting back to it. Like uh, definitely. Were you excited to see him come back to you know? Most definitely, man. I'm always After 13 years, to see a real one. You know, be able to go through that situation and be released back to their family. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and, and especially when you go through your situation and stand on it like the way he did, you know, you gotta understand this BG man. You know, BG have a lot of information if he wanted to indulge in any of it. Stand up guy, you'll never hear anything about anything, and I respect that. Wow, who who when you look at like today, like down in New Orleans, who would who the music wise. Who do you see and who really, like, when you see it, you like, damn, he doing his thing? Right for nine. Damn sure he is. Right for nine. Yeah. And then you have you have another youngin in a uh, city called YD the Illis. You know about YD the Illis? Mm, I've heard of it. Uh, you're another up and coming. Got the city buzzing. Got the city backing it. Wow. When you think about like uh, the cash money movement, I gotta ask you these questions. The cash money movement, uh, when it first happened, being that you was in music, how big was it for you to see, you know, Barry Man Slim them come from the trenches like that? It was very big, cause like I said, when the hot boy was coming out, we had the YG coming out. So we really trying to accomplish the same thing, we trying to follow the same blueprint with Baby and they do the same exact thing. <laughs> but downtown, but downtown. Yeah. Wow. So do downtown and uptown, they don't do they rock or they don't yeah, rock? Yeah, man. Like I just told you, like Cali Above, Chaotic, you know, but all uptown parties. Cali Above, he was on there. Little Soldier Slim. All right, man. That's all my homies. That's hard. So do you, when you when you think about it, you, you know, uh, Mac, we had him on the show as well. Mac. Uh, Mac is a uh, uh, different man. He did 21 years, right? Yeah. And but when you see him, you know he still has a his confidence. He yeah. never lost his confidence. Yeah. He still speak with integrity, and he still he he has forgiveness, and and you can see the humbleness all through his heart, man. How is it? How big is that when you see Mac come home? Uh, major. Like since we uh, Mac, that brings me to. I have a movie on the way that I wrote what? and directed. It's called Sidewalks the Movie. It's okay. the same for everybody. That's why you made Sidewalks, you know? And Mac is in the movie. Mac in the movie. Mac in the movie. Caddy Above in the movie. Wacko, Skip. They in the movie? Man, we got everybody in the movie, man. Snipe. Really? Did Ace, Ziggy Ace, Ziggy Ace in the movie? Ziggy Wiggler. You know Ace, he be with Vaughn. Ace, like, yeah. no, Ace, but you know, Cario Vaughn, Ace have a movie on. They do the have, yeah, they came in. Super Rich. That's, yeah, man. Y'all working yeah, down man, there. We working down there, man. New Orleans as a whole, we, we, we working, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.